And therefore, in this video, we will talk about isotropic and anisotropic material. And previously, I keep on saying it's anisotropic. It should be called anisotropic. All right, by the term. But anyway, so um, the key thing over here. Let's continue in this page, page twenty two of your lecture note part two. Okay. So um, the key thing over here is a crystal. All right, your crystal orientation is very important. All right, so I will write it down. Crystal orientation that affects your physical and mechanical properties of your uh, composites. All right. And the the chim thing when the properties of a material vary with different crystallography orientation. Alright, so if it happened that the exam questions or whatever questions talk about different crystallography orientation, this means that it is an anisotropic material. Alright. Because as you can see it's an anisotropic layered structure. Alright, the black color one, alright, is going in this direction, while the white color one is actually in this direction which is somewhat weaker I think but anyway in, in such of the any any of the case they are actually layered structures all right and they are an, an isotropic all right the examples you should go and memorize all right but what I want to go into here is inhomogeneous ball cell all right inhomogeneous means that it is inconsistent ball cell means that it's just a cube so it's an inconsistent cube and by right all right each of the individual grains, I will believe these grains is this this little cube over here, are anisotropic. So by nature they are somewhat anisotropic. But however, the property differences tend to average out and overall the material is isotropic. So over here this is a certain material. This is a certain uh, anisotropic. If you were to put different different cube on different areas, eventually if you put everything together, a lot of cubes all together you get a you get a isotropic uniform structure, all right. Instead of an isotropic, for an isotropic, you're gonna take the same same form of a certain property and then you arrange them, in, um, so called artificially or whatever, such that they actually um so called um layered into this form, okay. So the the thing in mind is that you can have a certain an isotropic material, okay plus and so a certain n isotropic material again plus another iso n isotropic material maybe in this case like that all right but if you were to combine them all together eventually you'll get something quite isotropic because all of them are, are arranged in different manner but if you were to laminate them up together you'll get an isotropic material all right so this is a another another more things to discuss we, um, that is pretty useful i think yeah, I think this is it. All right, because I'll just keep things keep things short, keep keep things short. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, next video we'll talk about this stuff. See you there.